In the first chapter in Kressel's book about research design, he talks about the importance of selecting a research approach. And so we have research design, a research method, and then we, with those two, we want to address the research problem. And he talks a little bit, spends a little bit of time talking about qualitative, quantitative, and mixed methods research. And normally, oftentimes you'll hear qualitative data relates to qualitative research, quantitative data is more like numbers, etc. But really, one fundamental thing is that quantitative research is testing theories that supposedly are objective, whereas qualitative research a lot of times is trying to explore and understand a phenomena better. So we might not have uh, th theories that we want to test, we might just be developing that. And you can see how the combination of qualitative and quantitative, so-called mixed method, is oftentimes uh, uh, very appropriate to actually represent the complexity of a phenomenon. And what's important to see is the philosophical worldviews that underlie research approach. A lot of times we might not really be aware of them or they're explicit, right? He talks about that they're largely hidden, but the way we design our research and the methods we use are also related to philosophical worldviews. And Cresswell here talks about four different philosophical worldviews, post-positivist, constructivist, transformative, and pragmatic. So let's look at those for a second. All right. So post-positivism is... Uh, a lot of times uh, something that quantitative researchers hold, right? They're trying to reduce phenomena, they try to model things, to try to test theory. They are observing and measuring things and trying to verify their assumption about the world. Uh, the constructivist is more about finding out what different perspectives perceive of a phenomena, there's multiple truths, right? And the uh, truth is socially constructed, right? That, that's one of the assumptions of constructivism. And a theory can be generated by trying to collectively understand the world better. Then a transformative worldview is more political or more uh, aware of deficiencies in the way that we do research, the way that we approach research, and is oriented towards change, right? Increasing justice, giving voice to people that haven't been heard, and be fully aware of how our research might be discriminating other people. <clears throat> and then the pragmatic approach is really focusing on trying to solve problems, uh, pluralistic, we, we, we use what we can, and it's real-world practice-oriented. And then here we have a little bit more detailed description of the different worldviews. And this is helpful to see. You can see what worldview you personally would identify with.